then you keep your money in. If that's what you want to do, don't listen to me. You keep your money in, okay? But what I want you guys to understand is one thing. You have kingpins in this play. They know the power of the New York Stock Exchange and their manipulating tactics, okay? They know the power of the market makers manipulating tactics, the brokers manipulating tactics. They know all of it. So you got Kingpin. Let me ask you this. You got Kingpin sitting on 600 million freaking dollars with AMC. He's watching it go up. Kingpin sees the halts, but then all of a sudden Kingpin sees the reversal and she starts tanking. Do you think these suits that have 600 million, one's, one firm, $600 million on the line, and she starts tanking. You think they sit around for the reversal to go back up? You really think these educated barracudas that have the most to lose are just going to sit that out? That they're not already saying, sell. Now, when that firm sells, guess what? How, how many brokers do you think, how many market makers do you think are going to start selling for their clients? To make their clients the most amount of money because they know the New York Stock Exchange has already pre-planned a carpet pull on the AMC squeeze. Okay, I want you guys to think about that. So if you're going to be like, no, I'm the guy that's sticking around for the second reversal for upward momentum, it's going to be a ghost town for you. Uh, I hate to give you the bad news, brother. It's going to be a ghost town for you. It's going to be you and only you staying in that freaking play, waiting for it to reverse and go back up for some magic reason. When everybody on the planet is going to be scared shitless and sell. Because they already are used to the manipulation and the worst case scenario. So, okay, there you go. Second, limit orders. Sorry, I got carpal tunnel. Hands going numb. Uh, limit orders. Why can't? Why shouldn't you set limit? You want to know why you shouldn't set a limit order? You know how many times? Okay, this last one with DWAC. I was burnt hard. Set a limit order. It was a sell. She's tanking, losing 30, 40. They don't fill my order. You have to have buyers and sellers married. The market maker marries everybody. And as the, the seller, hey, I'm selling a thousand. Well, I got a buyer for a thousand. Okay. Well, as AMC's tanking, do you really think you have time to set a limit order that might not get filled? It's probably an 80 to 20. 80% 80 chance it's not going to get filled. 20% chance it will get filled. Do you really want to waste or do you really want to risk the 20% it might get filled? Or is that who you are? Okay? No. DWAC, I had a limit order. I had the cell ready to go. They didn't fill the order. I'm now down another $30. They're not filling the freaking order. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I go in to sell manually, and they're like, no, sorry, you can't sell because you have a limit order set up. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I got to cancel the limit order. Then I have to go back in and manual. By the time I do all this, it's down another $20. Do you see what I'm saying here? It's not best case scenario, guys. Be prepared for worst case scenario. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Life is worst case scenario. If you're prepared for, like, guys, in anything, in business, you open a business, be prepared for worst case scenario. Anytime you're making money, anytime there's a sale, anytime you're selling a property, worst case scenario, everything, and you will be a success at life. You will be a success at everything you do because you are ready. You are prepared. So that's what I'm doing for you people. I am preparing you for worst case scenario because I believe that will be the outcome of the AMC squeeze. Why do I say that though? Has this whole thing been best case scenario? This has all gone in our favor the whole time? The, uh, the ape, the retail investor, we have gotten, we have received best case scenario for a year. No. You've received the shittiest case scenario you ever could have received for your investment over the course of this past year. So all of a sudden, it's going to go, it's going to be best case scenario for the retail investor. Everything we hope and dream for, it's going to go in our favor. That, if that's what you're preparing for, good freaking luck. Okay? Good luck.
What was the third? Yeah, the third one was, dude, you're, why is it that you're telling everybody it's going to be a one-day squeeze? You know, you're bad for the cause. Oh, my God. I've been saying this for, I don't even know how long, that this is actually going to take place over the course of two weeks, as long as the synthetics are there that we believe. About 5 billion to 6 billion synthetics, maybe 7 billion there's not a hundred billion, trust me. There could be six to seven to maybe ten. If that, if that's even a stretch. But the whole point here is it's going to be such a slow cover so that they're not shooting themselves in the foot, you know. And it's almost like they're going to hope and they're hoping and praying that the New York Stock Exchange halts. They're going to feed in enough to create the halt, crush it tomorrow, small amount. Day after that, create enough hype. Another run. See what I'm saying? Another run. Crush it. Another run. Crush it. It's going to take two weeks before it's finally all said and done. This is just my take. Maybe 12 days before it's all said and done. And then everybody walks for good. I was just saying, in the event that none of those synthetics, guys, that none of them exist, in the event that you don't have anything, you have maybe, if you're lucky, one billion. If you only have one billion, it is only going to be a two to three day cover. That's it. It's going to be done and over with. So what I'm saying is get the most out of the very first squeeze that you can. Okay? Get them just in case you don't get a second, third, or a fourth. You should treat every single one like I need to get the most out of this squeeze. And if you're lucky enough to get back in for a second, you get the most out of that one. If you're lucky enough to get back in for a third, you get the most out of that one. I am an aggressive, very aggressive trader. I will be glued to my, I will be taking in and absorbing information so damn fast. I will understand what the hell is happening as it's happening. And I will be selling based off of what has happened to me in the past. Okay, that's how I plan to trade AMC on the squeeze. Anyhow, guys, that's it. Look, I got to finish my lemon drink. I've got amino acids here I got to take in. Got to finish everything for my post-workout and get on with my day. I might even do another video later this afternoon. I'm feeling kind of good. All right, y'all. Have an awesome afternoon. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shut up.